What's up guys? How's it going today? Today's Sunday. Such a beautiful day. And um, we're actually going to build a chicken roost for our American Breast chickens to sleep on to get them off the ground. Um, they're about two months old now. So here in probably another two or three months, they will start laying eggs again. Or no, I'm sorry, not again. They'll start laying eggs for the first time. So I'll flip the camera around and let y'all see them. So give me a second. All right, guys. So there they are right there. So I've started building the roost right here, those two pieces of woods. Now it's got to build the slats that go across and then they'll sit on. That's their water bucket. I'm actually going to move it a little bit further this way. But that is the American Briss. Um, there's like four or five roosters in here, which we plan on um, getting rid of some of the roosters. So this is a dual chicken. They um, are egg layers and for meat. So some of the roosters we're going to dispatch for meat for our family. And the other roosters we'll keep with the hens to lay the eggs. And then we'll hatch the eggs and use those as our meat babies and keep the the few of these so i need to do some animal chores i need to do some feeding and some snacks and check on all of them see how they're doing and then um we'll start building so, so we're gonna go looks like all the chickens are laying down in the dirt um we have three of our chickens die so we'll see but hang on guys i'll turn the camera around so yeah we had some chickens die don't know what caused it they were fine one day or fine one morning and and they were dead by lunchtime in the afternoon so we gotta do a lot of stuff today Tomorrow is Memorial Day, so I might do some chicken coop cleaning since I'm off work that day, but we're going to give them some mealworms. So as y'all see, we lost three of our sweetest chickens we're now down to one white one where we had four white ones but we lost the three three sweetest ones that we was holding and so now we have these six left and there's some here and there's some over here you can't see them but they're all right there So we have those six and then we have the American breast and then all the quail. So the chickens are doing fine today. Let's go see how the quail's doing. I actually got up earlier this morning and uh, cleaned the quail cages. So let's see how they're doing. I mean, it looks like they're doing pretty good. I don't know if y'all can see them. But it looks like they're doing pretty dang good. Yeah, and now they're talking to me. I've got the lower ones here. Let's see how the ones on the bottom are doing. Looks like they're doing pretty good too. And then we got old Leonard Skinner right here, he has fully recovered. Um, 
there were some mean quail that we had and they scalped them so I was his doctor for a little bit so he's doing a lot better so they look they have food and they've got water so let's um go see if the goats needs any snacks I'm gonna I'm gonna get their snack real quick which I just give them a little bit of feed I don't give them much I just give them a little bit of feed Finn is out here with me he's back there walking with me so what's uh nah. yeah nah. I know tell me about it nah. yeah I know nah. did y'all eat all your stuff did y'all eat everything? Huh? Alright, y'all share. Y'all be good and share. So I actually had to um, put an electrical fence up because the brown one, Dusk, which is right there, she kept getting out. I would come home from work at lunchtime and she was out of the pen. So I cut some tree limbs off and I've been giving them tree limbs. They've been snacking on them. Um, I went and bought them some new hay. They have hay to eat. I'm going to go check and see how much hay they got. Oh, okay. Thank you. They said they got plenty, which they do. They do have plenty of hay. Their hay feeder all right here. So they've been eating their new hay. Very soft hay. I could probably take a nap on that. So... You know, I thought about um, expanding their goat house, giving them some more room. I thought about taking this wall out and moving it to give them some more room in here. But I don't know. I would have to take off this 2x4 right here for this roof. I got to take off this part of the roof. And um, too much of a hassle. But I could also, I could also just, I could build out, out here, I could build and then cut a hole, a doorway in this wall. Then I don't have to take off the roof. I can just have a little walkway, like a walk through and they can walk through. So I might do that. I don't know yet, but we'll see. So it's been a pretty busy day. The goats are fine, the chickens are fine, the quail's fine. Everybody's doing good today. And, uh, you know, we had the baby quail. We had some more babies that we hatched out. They're doing pretty good. And I'll show y'all here in a minute what they look like. But we also have a dove that made a nest in my barn. Now I'll see if she lets us videotape her. I don't know, but we'll see. Y'all scared her away. Well, she got scared. So. And over here in our firewood, we have um, some chickmunks. 
So we're gonna see if I see one. I think the dog probably, I think Finn probably done scared them off for now. But um, that's the firewood. And over there, I gotta split all that. This was over by the goat house, but I moved it, put it right there across the property. Someone's got a peacock, I hear it. But it is what it is. I still gotta mow the backyard today. And um time y'all see this video, it'll be a couple of weeks, maybe. So let's get oh I forgot the cup out there. So let's get let's get started. And um let's get this roost built. So I got more things I gotta do. I need to mow the backyard. I did the front yard yesterday. I need to mow the backyard. So let's get started building. Um, so they need the so they can have the roofs to sleep on. So hopefully I can get them off the ground. So all right, guys, y'all hang on, and um, I'll get everything set up, and I'll get and we'll come back. All right, guys, so my saw stand, I have one. It's buried in some other stuff, and I don't like moving the car out and getting it all out, so I only got a couple of cuts. But I'm going to build. This is going to be the um, part where they stand on, the roost part. I need a few of these pieces. So, we'll get these cut and we'll put them on there. Looks like I'm going to need some more pieces. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Nope, I'm not going to have enough. Still. Then I'm going to drill some holes in each one of them. I got to drill holes in them so I can screw them to the thing so y'all can see. So, but all I'm doing. Drilling some holes. Through. For the screws. That's all I'm doing guys. Nothing fancy. Just drilling some holes. So, anyway, I'll show you the baby quail once we go back in the garage. I forgot. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you the quail, the babies. They're now, I mean, well, 
they're probably about a week or two old now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera out here so the chickens don't knock my camera over. And I'm going to go inside, guys. Chickens, they get shy. They're shy and scared. All right. Excuse me, girls. I probably don't need a lot of them. We'll find out. Like I said, you don't want to do it too tight because you'll crush them. Well, that was lovely. I'm, just, I'm, I'm afraid to tell y'all what just happened. I just put my hand in their poop. Yeah, tell me about it. Oops. Well, y'all sure are pooping over there, ladies, men. All right. So I need to move their water over. So I think we'll put it right here. Yeah guys, this used to be um chicken tractor. But we have these birds now, so it'll be good. And then um, I will build some nesting boxes next month, maybe, later. And I'll probably put them over there. That way they're not scared of it. Because they're trying to figure out what it is. And it's probably not enough. I probably need to do more. But um, we'll see. If I have to, I will um, build another one or build a bigger one.
Right now they're just pecking at it, getting used to it. But um So I caught one and they're up there. See, that's a good that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. We'll probably put in the other chicken coop on the other with the other chickens, but separate those. So that's done, guys. They'll get used to it. Yeah, they'll be fine. I don't know if any of y'all had read my sign. All right, guys, let me go show y'all the quail. And um, and that'll probably be it for the day. I got to do some mowing, and I can't film and mow at the same time. So. I'll show you all the babies real quick and um, I will maybe after I mow get back on and film build rebuilding the or building finish building the um, milk sand here's the baby chick here's the baby quail guys sorry I didn't film this I did it last night but we have the feeder right there and I built the ramp and it's on hinges so it folds on top and we can roll it around anywhere we want there's handles underneath it so that's what it looks like Hey guys, so if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the uh, notification button. That way you get notified when we um, make our videos. And this is Finn. Y'all have a good day.